Hey, it's Janelle here from Dog Matters and today we're going to talk about environmental enrichment. Now in our last video we mentioned that this is a great way to keep your dog entertained when you're not around and we had some questions come out of that from people of what sort of things can I give to my dog to do when I'm not here and that's what we're going to talk about today. Now as you can see I've got some toys here that we're going to talk about in a minute but what about some free options that you can do by yourself at home? Firstly, don't give your dog breakfast or leave food out if you then expect them to work for the food that you're putting inside the toys or the food that you're hiding around the yard. Leave your dog hungry, make them work for it. If your dog's full or has a bowl of free food sitting out, why would they put in effort to get it out of a, a toy or a puzzle? So, free options. I bet you scatter their breakfast around the yard and let them search it out. Even hide it some places. Make them work for their food like a real wild dog. So what about toy options? There's lots of different brands, but one of the most well-known reputable brands is Kong products. They're famous for making these shaped Kongs and they've come out with all these other toys here. There's a lot of them here, which really goes to show that I've spent too much money. So we're gonna look at some of these products today, some of the best ones, some of the more challenging ones. And I asked myself, how hard can it really be? So let's find out with a dog versus human challenge. Yep, I'm gonna try and get my treats out of these and then I'm gonna time the dogs getting their treats out of these. Now the first one, I've done the ice block trick. I have plugged up the bottom and filled it with vegetable stock and frozen it overnight. The other rule is I have to eat it the same way a dog can eat it, which means I can't use my fingers and thumbs. So I'm gonna put socks over my hands and compare my progress to that of my dogs. First one, frozen Kong. Ugh. Okay, frozen vegetable stock. They might like it, I don't. I'm gonna skip that one. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, that's strong. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm not going to have dog treats um, because, well, we'll save that for another video. Let's see what's next. This is a Kong Wobbler. You can open it up, put treats in there, put the bottom back on. <laughs> Neil's hardest challenge, putting it back together. Oh, my, seriously? And then I will give dog treats to my dog. And for me, I get people treats. By the way, any of these have been through the dishwasher. Kong toys are dishwasher proof. I don't buy things in this house if they're not dishwasher proof. And if I do by accident, then we're gonna see how long they last going through the dishwasher. Oh, not this again. Haha. <laughs> All right. Kidding me? Haha. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty six seconds. I think that's too easy. Next up. This one is like the Kong Classic, but this is the extreme version. Comes in black, made with really made with really tough rubber. And a hole in this is pretty big, so I'm gonna use something a bit more difficult for me. You wanna get different dog treats and, and their breakfast and jamming it all in there really tight. Some people use peanut butter, and I hope it doesn't need to be said. Don't give your dog chocolate. These ones are only for me. Oh, that's a bigger hole than I thought. Okay. Well, it's still not gonna come out. That's, this is gonna actually be hard. I really want to pick it up. Mm. Ha ha! I think I'm gonna ditch the socks now and just not use my fingers because that was weird. All right, so this is a Kong Genius. Also this one of the Genius range. 
which means obviously you have to be a genius because food is so bad for me. The rubber is an interesting flavour. There is no way. Oh, I'm really hungry. I think I have to admit defeat. Wow. Then we're getting a real jaw workout with these ones. I can't do it. Oh. Oh! Ha! I got some. Ow. Okay, this one's definitely a challenge. That's a minute and 17 seconds and I'm admitting defeat. Here we have the Conquest range. This one's a bone-shaped one. That's easy. Try the smaller holes. Yeah, that's where the challenge is at. So, I can definitely get um, biscuits out of the, the bigger sections on this, but not the smaller ones. But you know, that's good because it keeps them encouraged. And what I would actually do with this is um, use something more like peanut butter for the dogs, I think. So another Kong Quest model. Oh, I got tiny teddies. Okay. So since a lot of people put peanut butter in these things for their dogs, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, for thoroughness sake, test that as well. Just put it in the cracks there. Put it in all the little nooks and crannies. It's like the worst lunch ever. All right, first I'm gonna try and get the biscuits out and go. peanut butter's a bit harder. That's definitely harder. I can't get much of that out at all. Dogs must have great tongues. Verdict, biscuits, easy challenge. Peanut butter, 10 times harder challenge. I like that one. Now I'm not quite sure how I feel about this one because it's the last one I have left and this is meant to be for endurance chewers. This is the Kong Marathon. Keeps dogs busy with extended chew sessions. No wheat, corn, or gluten, so I can't eat it. It's really healthier for me than all those other things I've had. So this one, it comes with a treat in it, and you can buy the refills. So unlike the other products, I can't put my own human treats in this one. But you know, the ingredients don't sound too bad. This could actually taste all right. You want to give a human a real puzzle, open one of these packages. Oh, it smells strong. Treat is really jammed in there and the rest is rubber stuff like, like the others. All right. pleasantly surprised. I think that the rubber has like the the beefy smell to it. The actual treat is quite hard but it doesn't taste that bad. But I can't get it out. If I try any harder that's going to really hurt my teeth. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have please like and share and don't forget to follow us on Facebook. I actually feel a bit sick now from all the junk food. We know how your dogs go with these types of products. Every dog is different. Some dogs are smarter than others. And some dogs just aren't as food motivated. Let us know what you'd like to see next and we'll see you in the next video.